Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors, combat and wilderness grade custom knife and sheath systems. We've got the badass gear for the badass outdoorsman, Yellowhawk. The Delta Whiskey Farn Hawk. This is a 80 CRV2 fighter bushcrafter. Uh, you know, self defense, bushcraft, bushcraft, self defense. It's got design elements of both. When I designed this, I had in mind a knife that you could defend yourself with. Right, with a really comfortable handle, great purchase, uh, smooth for, you know, maneuvering it in your hand, you know, different hand positions and whatnot, uh, and bushcraft, or, you know, just regular camp use. It's got a full convex grind. That 80 CRV2 steel is pretty damn strong. It's a forgeable steel, so it's a forged knife. This is a hand-forged knife built by... Sam Farnworth at Ginja Ninja Outdoors. He is a phenomenal younger knife maker. Um, and I tell you, his blades have been really catching my attention the last couple of months. So I contacted him and said, hey, let's do a collaboration. A knife and sheath system, right? He, he said, I'm all for it, man. Let's do it. So we did it. And... This is the Delta Whiskey Farn Hawk. Walnut burl scales, brass pins, brass lanyard hole, uh, tapered tang to make it a little bit lighter. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty lightweight EDC for everyday or everyday woods carry. I'm really impressed with his knives. Very comfortable. Again, the Delta Whiskey Farn Hawk. He's, he's making them right now. If you want to order one from him, uh, go to Ginger Ninja Outdoors. Ginger Ninja Outdoors.com. And, you know, contract with him, he'll build you one, he'll send me the knife after it's finished, and I'll put a sheath system on it. So, um, you can have anything you want. Uh, it depends, right? Everybody, you guys know that I do a lot of different things with Kydex and options and whatnot. Just go to my website, www.yellowhawkcustomkydex.com. Or you just call me up and... Order a sheath for yours. 443-315-6033. Try texting me first. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. I don't always answer the phone because I'm always building sheaths. So texting is, is the best. Here's the, the system that I built for this one. You can see it. And I, I generally, when I'm out in the woods, I generally carry my knife in the front like that. It's just easier for me to get. Sometimes I wear it cross draw as well. All right, so there it is. It's a good look at it. So you guys can see it up close. How you doing, guys and gals? This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hop Customs Outdoors. Yeah, we're outdoors. See it? We're, we're in the outdoors. We're in of the outdoors. All right, so it got down to like seven degrees last night. Uh-huh, Leo Hardesty, huh? Seven degrees. All right, so here's what we got. I'm, I'm gonna do a review of this uh, Delta Whiskey Farn Hawk, right? There it is right here, here's the... There's the knife. I'm sorry, that's not the knife. That's the knife and sheath system right there. 
right? And there's the back of it. All right. One hand draw. There's the knife. All right. It's the Delta Whiskey Foreign Hawk. 80 CRV2 steel. Walnut burl scales, brass pins, brass lanyard hole, 530 seconds inch thick. This is a custom hand forged knife. And that's the way it's going to be offered to you guys uh, for now. And then we're going to do a production version of it as well. I just don't know when that's going to happen yet. Okay? I just don't know yet. So, here's the knife. Here's the other side of it. And you guys stick around. I'm going to do a review of this knife. I've been working with it for about a week now. <laughs> for a light EDC, I think it's perfect. Honestly, I do. Stay tuned. Tell you, this convex grind really makes feather sticking pretty easy. Uh, even if you're not really good at it, this convex grinds. Sam's really good at getting a lot of usable properties out of forgeable steels. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, feather sticks pretty well um, and like I said it's all due to that convex grind I mean in my opinion this these convex grinds are just as good at woodworking as a Scandi grind but much stronger And everybody knows I like I like my feathers off the bone. I like to be able to put that pile of feathers wherever I want to put it. You know what I mean? So and this is a piece of poplar. Okay, poplar's feather sticks pretty well. This is an older piece, so the, the wood's kind of dry. And it's 10 degrees out here, so. There we go. Uh, I tell you, I, I really like a knife that feather sticks well because if it'll feather stick, It'll pretty much do anything else you want it to do, you know what I mean? As far as uh, smaller woodworking tasks goes. <clears throat> Delta Whiskey Farn Hawk. It's got a nice, sharp, 90 degree spine. You'll see that in a, a minute or two. I'll show that to you. Taper Tang. Taper tang, really comfortable Coke bottle style handle. Um, and in cold weather like this, you know, like 10 degree weather, um, it really helps to have a very comfortable handle because your, your, your fingers and your hand are already battling the cold as it is. You don't want to have to battle your knife to do what you need it to do.
polished edge on it. They come razor sharp. But I'm just putting a polished edge on it and right now I'm just stropping it. All right? Field stropping. Just to get a polished edge. There we go. Oh man. <laughs> see the polished edge? I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying to show you the polish. You know, nice and shiny on the edge. And this thing is super sharp. Hey, stop it. Stop growling. I don't have any hair left on my arms, but let me see if I can get some. Okay, I mean that's <laughs> so that's razor sharp. Get one more pass. There we go. This uh, poplar bark's damp as hell. If it's really dry, it'd be up in flames by now. Scratch some of this into here. There we go. Yeah, this stuff is really damp. It would be up in flames right now if it was super dry. Uh, I'm going to put it out because I'm going to need it later. Kiva, come. Kiva, come. Good girl. Come on, baby. Careful, careful. Watch out. The grand batoner. So, I mean, the knife, it's durable enough to baton. 
you just can't go whole hog on it and baton you know six inch pieces of wood it's not going to do it, it won't blades not long enough <clears throat>